week. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll present two little things uh, that we achieved this week, but I believe that it will be important. Or actually, one is a big thing. The, the first one is uh, smaller. And so uh, a lot of people were uh, reporting how hard it is to really understand what is the baseline to contribute to any of our projects. Like when you do pull requests, what are the things that you have to follow to make sure that the pull request can get accepted, or, or, or just like give a tool for the core contributors, the core reviewers, to help others that want to contribute to the project level up by themselves without having a single person trying to teach everyone. And so we have, in the past, some contributing guidelines. Uh, but if you're familiar with this repo, the community repo, you might remember that we have, in the past, like contributing one, contributing two, contributing for Go, contributing for JS, and then there was a contributing file on the Go repo, the top level one, and there was no contributing files in the other repos. And so it, essentially it was a big mess. Like, it was really hard to understand what was up to date, what was not up to date. Um, and so what we did was, okay, fine, go, just do the work, compacting everything, and, and, and like for the things that are specific for Go, we'll have a contributing Go, for the things that are JS, we'll have a contributing JS. And so if you open contributing.md uh, today, finally we have a thing that explains how to dive into the code, like where to find information about the protocol design, like where you can get your questions answered, and also like discusses like how to approach like big changes as issues, uh, what to do about pull requests. It points you, if you are contributing to Go.js, it points you to the specific contributing guidelines. It explains like what is, like, why is it called after me all the time? Mm -hmm. And so what you have to do uh, to sign your commits. What about code, tests, documentation, pull requests, all those things. Take into account that this is kind of like uh, coalescing multiple docs that exist for a very long time, and so they might not be up to date right now. Uh, but now you have a place where you can pull requests again and have a discussion with the rest of the team and say, hey, I think this doesn't represent the current set of things, let's update it. Or, hey, I think there is a way to update to improve how we do pull request reviews, so let's update it here rather than try to update five different docs. Um, the, the go. The go, the go contributing guidelines. Uh, well, we need to fix this broken link. You would think that a presentation about docs will not have problems. Um, so yeah, um, this basically pulls all of the details that were on the go IPFS repo only, and you can see like there is like some repeated information again like the commit messages and so on, and, and we should like just decide to do this for the whole repos or, or for them. Uh, so uh, yeah, well, let's make sure to review the these. Um, you will see that the JS one is the one that is like a little bit more up to date, and so again broken links. Uh, gotta fix those. Uh, you can do it. All the source code. Um, and so, yes, the, the JS one not only includes all to like, I think about code and code style. Well, JavaScript, we don't have real format, so we have to like, be explicit about that. Testing, releasing, documentation, um, even like commit messages. And now we use those commit messages to create change logs when we do a release. Um, so, like, when someone pushes 10 commits, like, the JS team has a way to say, say, hey, could you kindly read these commit messages guidelines and, like, kind of, like, uh, rename your commits because that makes it things nice for us. Uh, the other thing it also has is, like, the tech leads and lead maintainers. So, uh, it explains what is a lead maintainer of the module, what is responsibilities, what people should have, should be doing, um, and now to become a lead maintainer. So if there is an activity to contribute there that is very interested on like helping the effort by becoming a lead maintainer, uh, we explain how to do that. This is basically uh, avoid the DOS by instead of having a single person, typically Steven, on go and to answer to all of the requests, have a way that like multiple contributors can just like point out like please read this and level up your PR so that when it's leveled up, it's more ready to get merged. And yeah, this is it. So we kind of like refresh all of this. Please make sure to check it out. 
Um, we also updated the readme so that it's more readable and easy to find. Uh, to answer one final question is like, why are the contributing guidelines on the community repo? Uh, it's an excellent question. Uh, the reason is historically we have the community repo, and so this is the community contributing guidelines, and so like the, this code thing just fell here. Uh, we we don't have a vendor repo just for these things, and so far like people are used to finding them here. Um, kind of works. It also means like it's they are on the same repo where people talk about events and playing meetups, which is also community things. Um, but yeah, we, we might like fork those if, if it makes sense. For now, they are here. Any questions? Do you, uh, you know, GitHub has the if you have that file in the yeah. repo, it'll show like a, a banner. Do we have? Is there a way to preserve that for all the other? Yes. So um, go IPFS have historically a contributor MD, and like what GitHub is looking for is actually a contributing yeah. .md. And so uh, Molly actually already did a pull request to change that doc. And so now what we are saying is instead of like having specific details about how to contribute to the project at the top level repo, uh, point to the other side. If you go to the, um, the JS modules, you'll see that like this has been a, a practice for a while. And it just makes it very easy because when there's a new issue, like a new contributor creating a new issue or a new pull request, GitHub shows like, as you said, that banner. Uh, it's like, oh, like, it seems like it's your first time contributing to the project. Make sure to read the contributing guidelines. And so instead of having to update like 300 repos, which is updated in one place, and then all the other ones, it's just like a pointer to the main one. Yeah, anything simple. Any other questions? Anything I miss? All right, cool. So I'll just like stop the video. To Talk about the other.